Hey guys, Dr. Huntington here. So why should you bother to pay for organic food and eat it, of course, you know, when we compare that to conventional food? Uh, well, first, let's make sure that we have the terms clear. So food that is labeled as organic means that it was produced without the use of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, sewage sludge, and hasn't gone through any kind of bioengineering such as GMO foods and it hasn't been produced using any sort of ionizing radiation. Now that's the definition that commonly fits a plant-derived food. And if we're referring to animals that produce like meat or poultry or eggs or dairy products, it means that the animals were not raised using antibiotics uh, or growth hormones. So it's important to note that organic is not the same as non-GMO. Non-GMO means that the food has not been genetically modified, meaning the food has not, it's not been altered in a lab, like using genetic modification or engineering techniques. But it's still possible for food to be non-GMO, meaning that it hasn't been modified, but still not be organic, because maybe it was produced using uh, an artificial fertilizer. So a non-GMO food might be organic, or it might not be organic but an organic food is always non-GMO. If a food is not organic, then the term used to describe it is conventional. And this is how, this is how you actually see non-organic foods listed in the grocery store. It'll usually have a little sign on it that says conventional. So let's get to the practical, the, uh, practical application here. Your best choice for good health is to eat organic foods as often as possible. As we discussed earlier, those organic foods will never be genetically modified. And when you choose to eat a conventional food, you want to make sure of two things. First, if it's a plant-based food, you want to make sure that it's non-GMO. And second, if it's a meat, poultry, dairy, or eggs, you want to make sure it came from animals that were raised without the use of antibiotics or growth hormones. So how does eating organic benefit your health? Well, first, you'll get more of the healthy fats. A recent study in the British Journal of Nutrition noted that organic meat and milk can have about 50% more omega-3 fatty acids, which is the healthy fat that you want to consume. And second, you won't get exposed to antibiotics or man-made hormones by your food. Conventional livestock are often given antibiotics to control illness because they often live in very crowded conditions. And so the antibiotics are injected into the animals to prevent the diseases that can easily spread through those kinds of conditions. Also, they're often fed growth hormone, which causes them to grow bigger and faster for economic reasons. So one of the problems of consuming these types of products is that they can cause antibiotic resistance in people and, and gut problems as well. And consuming synthetic growth hormones is linked to an, increasing, an increased cancer risk. Another reason to eat organic is that organic foods tend to provide better nutrient content than conventional foods. A recent study in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry concluded that an organic onion contained 20% more antioxidants than a conventional onion. Now remember, the primary reason to eat is to get nutrition from your food. And many studies, including the one I just mentioned, demonstrate that you'll get more nutrition from organic foods. So the best way to apply this information is to replace conventional foods that you currently have in your diet with organic. Do this at a pace that's in line with your budget and, and whatever access you have in terms of organic options. But certainly a diet that is close to 100% organic food is ideal, and that should, that should be what you should be shooting for. If you must make a gradual diet change, I recommend starting with these five foods because they have no, they've been known to contain the highest concentration of harm, harmful chemicals. If you look here, I've listed them as only organic, right? Because these are the ones that often have a high level of harmful chemicals. So if you're eating strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, and grapes, these only organic, okay? <clears throat> so, and then there's another list I've got up here, which are five foods that are least likely to contain pesticides and residues. So they're avocados, sweet corn, pineapples, cabbage, and onions. So if you're not going completely organic and you're going to still buy some conventional fruits and vegetables, then you know, these would be on your list that can continue to be conventional. Okay, so if, you've, if you're just getting to this organic food thing, here's your homework. 
swap out your conventional meat and milk for organic. And when eating the five items listed here, only choose organic. All right, you're on your way. I'll see you in the next video.